Hey, this is Tyler Monroe for Music 112, Section 1, uh, with Professor Riley, um, and we're doing the Signal Flow project, so let's get started. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate how to record, um, how to get into mix mode, um, and how to apply effects to uh, an audio signal through the HD24. Um, so basically, the first step we have to do is press play on the CD player, which is right there, and simply play. And it's getting ready to play. There it is. All right, easy enough. Now what I gotta do is then make a new track or new song, excuse me, on the HD24. So I press new song. Do I want a new song? Yes. Uh, 48k is fine. 24 tracks. I don't care. So we're now we're on song five. Okay, from there, I'm gonna set some levels because I have to record one minute of uh, this bass and drum loop. So. Uh, what I need to do, set the unity gain to zero, which is these input faders, um, and then I'm gonna arm the tracks, and then I gotta get the levels with the the purple knobs at the top, the the trim, the trim knobs here. But uh, yeah, so if you haven't seen, there's a uh, there's zero. So yeah. Set the levels for those. Okay, it looks like the, they're at pretty decent levels. Um, so yeah, that's all I need to do. And then all I need to do is uh, press play and record on the HD24. So, record, play. And it's now we're going to record, and we're going to record it for about a minute. Yeah. When the minute's up, I gotta, I'm going to press, uh, press, excuse me, I'm gonna press stop on the HD24 and then on the CD player. Just so there's not silence at the end of the, the recording. So yeah, we got about uh, 35 seconds, 35, 40 seconds. Okay, I'm going to press stop. And all I did, all I did was simply uh, press stop on the HD24 and then stop on the CD player. Um, next, I need to put the tracks into mix mode. Uh, the tracks are one and two, one and two. So uh, I'm gonna unarm the tracks from the HD24. Uh, when I was testing this out earlier, that was causing problems. But yeah. Um, what I have to do is press. If I can get you to see, I have to press down IP Rev on both tracks, Line on both tracks, and then LR, which those were actually already down. And then. Press locate zero on the HD24. Press play. Mess with the monitor fader. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they're in mixing mode now. That's me messing with the input faders. Now I'm going to put it at a. Uh, Adjust the balance, which, yeah, input faders. More drum, more bass. So. I think that sounds good to me for now. Um, okay, now I, now I need to demonstrate how to solo one of the tracks. Simply, 
Just oh, there's the end of the recording. Simply, I just press one of these gray buttons. Those are solo buttons. Uh, no kick zero. So this is gonna be just drums. Okay. Now both. Now just bass. But yeah. So there's those. Now I need to demonstrate how to mute it. It's the purple buttons right under the solo buttons. So these right here. This will be just bass. Um, one thing I noticed while doing this uh, solo button, if you solo a track, it actually it still brings down the level a little bit. Uh, at least that's what I think I'm hearing. Um, so like when I soloed the drums, the drums still came down a little, but the bass was completely out. If I mute the bass instead, level sounds the same. Uh, just interesting thing that I heard. Okay, now I'm gonna sh uh, show how to boost high frequencies and to reduce uh, the high frequencies. I'm gonna use drums for that. So we have these uh, EQ black knobs, there's a row of six of them um, at the top of the board. Basically, I'm just gonna uh, turn up the high mids. And uh, you have to press the EQ in button for it to actually apply. But there's the, like the hi-hat and cymbals and stuff. Yeah. Um. As you can tell, there's an obvious difference. I'm, I'm turning the high mid or the high mids up. So it's definitely boosting the high frequencies. And I use that same knob to reduce the low, the high frequencies just by turning it down. All the other knobs are at about noon. But if I turn, yeah, if I, I turn the top three knobs down, which are the uh, high mid and the, the high, just turn those all the way down and that, that reduces the high frequencies. Uh, so I'm going to turn those back up to noon. I'm going to mute the track. Now I need to show how to boost the low frequencies and to reduce the low frequencies. So I'm going to use the bass for that, obviously. So I'm gonna use the low, uh, the low mid, the boost, the boost low boost. You hear those really distorted overtones. That's without EQ. With EQ. Okay, now I'm going to uh, reduce the low frequencies, usually, uh, basically using the same knobs to uh, turn it down. Uh, still got a very distorted sound, but it's very thin. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, it's, but it's very, very uh, non bassy I'm going to mute that again, and I'll turn them back to normal, turn them all back to noon. Here's both of them. With no EQ. Um, now I'm gonna compress one track and apply a noise gate to the other track. So, use this desk. I have to do some patching. So I think I need about four patch cables to make this work well. And what I'm gonna do is go from HD24 out one to where is it? Comp A in one. I'm gonna go from comp A out one 
two tape in one. And I, here, I'm gonna unplug that. I'm gonna turn it up so you can hear the difference when uh, it's plugged in because it'll be noticeable right away. Hear that? So. Yeah, so this is if I bypass. That's me bypassing the. Uh, this is bypassing the. Uh, Bypassing the compressor, that's with the compressor. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the ratio on the compressor about 3 to 1, or no, 2 to 1, sorry. Negative 10 is the threshold. Um, output gain. Okay, zero. Okay, this is with no compression on it whatsoever. This is what, uh, this is when I. Yeah. I think that I should, uh, the. To me, it's not like the hi hat gets louder, but yeah, there is a, there is a difference. There. You can definitely tell that there's a difference there. Now I'm gonna apply noise gate to the other track. So I'm gonna go from. HD out to HD twenty four out two to comp A into comp A out to to tape in two. I'm gonna unmute the bass track and uh and I don't want any noise gate or I don't I don't want any compression. And again, you can tell there's a difference. So. The noise gate is on there. Or not the noise gate. Uh, there you go. So what I'm doing is I'm messing with this uh this part that says expander gate on the, the compressor, which should be affecting that. So this is me applying noise gate all the way up. Hear that? I hope you do. Anyway, so there's that. Yeah, I don't want that on my tracks though. So I'm actually gonna unplug those. Okay, now I'm going to, the last step is to demonstrate how to add delay to the track. Okay, pretty simple. I believe it's a, if I remember correctly, Augs's, Aux 3 and 4, 
which are these uh, green knobs right or here, right here. Let's see, three and four. But uh, then we have our Ox Masters, which are up here. Yeah, there we go, up here at the top of the board. And uh, they don't connect automatically to the number. There's six of these uh, ox sends, but they don't automatically connect to the corresponding number. Um, that's one of the things we learned in Chad demonstrated that even though we're using aux three and four, um, it plugs into aux master one and two. So yeah, here we go. I think I'm just gonna add it to the drums. Basically, that's all, that's all we have to do. So, yeah, all I have to do now is just to delete the track from the HD24. So, delete song. Do I want to delete song? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. And we're done. So, yeah, there's Signal Flow Project. Thank you. Have a good day.